going on everyone? I got a brand new movie review for you guys today. Today I'm talking about a Netflix original film, but it's also in theaters and I have to recommend it. Check it out in theaters if you have any interest in it because it well, I'll talk about it. This film is called Roma, and it's directed by Alfonso Cuaron. Now, Alfonso Cuaron is known for doing some excellent films, but I have to say I think Roma right now is probably his best film to date and his best directed film to date as well. It's one of the strongest directed films of this year and of the last couple of years, and it's a foreign film. It's all in subtitles. Unless you speak Spanish, then you're kind of in your element on here, but man... I searched this film out because I missed all my screens. I searched this film out to go and check it out in theaters because I didn't want to just watch it at home. I, I wanted to experience it because I've heard that is the best way to experience this film. I have to go with those praises while you... Again, if you have any interest in seeing this film, please search out a theater near you. If you can't find it then, and if you're still interested in it, do check it out on Netflix, because the story is there. The story, it's not just the technical aspects that are making this film out to what it is. That's, again, why I think the film needs to be seen in a theater, because at times, this film felt like a 4D experience at Disneyland. The way that the sound design was, every time if someone was talking, it felt like they were right next to you. And there were points in this time where I thought people were talking behind me, in the theater, and it turned out to just be the film, because I turned around to tell them to shut up, but guess what? It was just the movie, and that's excellent sound design, excellent sound mixing. The technical aspects, again, are one of a kind that I've never experienced in a theater before, and even the cinematography in here, it really looked like just artwork, like you're going through a museum and looking at a bunch of arts and paintings that someone had painted, and it's telling a story as it goes to each and every single unique scene. And each and every scene you can tell was passionately shot from Quran, being the DP of his film and also directing it, writing it, being a total powerhouse on this film. But you can feel the passion behind this film. And this is one of those films that, you know, most films are made for profit. This film was totally made out of passion. And I get it, like most people, like, I'm sure there's a profit to be set into this film, but it... When you're watching it, there's a different element to it. I absolutely love that. I love getting that feel for it. And this is the definition of an art film. This is a total art house film. And I loved seeing that. It's a film that a lot of people will be able to relate to. It takes place in the 1970s following a middle class family in Mexico. I'm not Hispanic descent, but I have tons of friends that are. And looking into this, it makes me appreciate a lot of things in my life, but also makes me appreciate a lot of my family elements. This film goes as far to show that family is a core element of everyone's life, depending, and that goes to show how it shapes you, and I got what Quran was going for this, and you know, you read into how we made this film, and Quran in an element, this is based on a lot of his stuff earlier in his life, and you believe it. This film feels so realistic. And one of the great things about it is Yelitsa Apricio, who plays Cleo in here, our main protagonist within this family, who plays the maid of the family, she felt so realistic. And she's not an actress, but I think that's what the film was going for. It needed that charisma and that powerful performance from her because you don't need it. You want to feel like this is a realistic performance, not just actors playing actresses and actors doing this and this. No, it felt so real. And there came a certain scene towards the end of the film where I was almost in tears for Cleo because I had found myself so contained and so emotionally invested towards the whole family and her story. I can't even go as far as to say I do think this film is not for everyone. I know there's going to be people who comment on this review after it comes out on Netflix being, that movie sucked, how is it, blah, 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 I don't get it, it's too slow, it's too boring. I'm going to understand when people don't like this film. I'm going to understand if you don't want to give this film a chance. I, I think you should. But I think this is definitely a film that you can't be distracted. You have to give your whole body and soul to this film. And if you don't, then I think you're going to find yourself a little bit disappointed within it. And that that's just the utter truth with it. This film deserves your full attention. And it needs your full attention, which is another reason to go see it in the theaters. Not just because the awesome sound design and the cinematography. But every film needs to be seen in the theater. I, I think that's the, the filmmaker's purpose, to, to show it in the theaters. Not just on home at streaming, which... It's great when it's convenient, and I'm glad this film is going to be able to go out to a wider variety of people, but I know people are not going to like this film, and I will understand that, but I think you have to appreciate it for those technical aspects. I think Roma is a brilliant film. It does take a little bit of its time to get to where it's going, and in the beginning, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to love this film. I hope I can love it. I hope I can love it, but again, by that last climactic scene with Cleo in the hospital, and I think you'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen the film, when I was in tears... In that scene, I, I found myself like, wow, I really am emotionally invested. And when the story ended, I didn't want it to end. I wanted to see where the rest of the story would go. Where did these characters go? I, because I came so in love with Cleo, with the family, with the kids. 
and it became such a strong element. It opened up a pocket and made me appreciate more of the Mexican culture and going into Mexico and appreciating other things within it. It's a beautiful film. It's passionately made, and it's definitely a film I can recommend. And if you are have any interest in this film, search out a theater near you. If you can't find a theater, please watch it on Netflix. Again, it's not for everyone. Do understand this. You need to dedicate time to this, but... It's a film that I think a lot of people are going to appreciate. Again, it's my final thoughts. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Plus, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below, and that's how you guys can check out some movie news and even some movie reviews, and plus, check out some movies early. Again, Roma, it's excellently directed by Alfonso Cuaron. This is easily his best directed film to date. Excellent cinematography, fantastic sound design, everything on board. Technically, this is a masterwork, masterpiece of a movie. The story, I do think, took a little bit time to get to where it's going, but I did find myself becoming emotionally invested within every single character within the story, especially Cleo. Elisa gives a fantastic performance in this film, and it's something none other that I've ever seen. I know she's not an actress, and she still doesn't consider herself to be an actress, but man, she stole my heart, and this film filled my heart with joy, and I absolutely loved Roma, so with all that said, I'm going to give Roma an A-. minus. Was fantastic, and I hope you guys do give this film a chance. If you've already seen it, let's talk about it down below. And if you're checking it out on Netflix, tell me what your guys' thoughts are on it as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching this. Hit that like and subscribe button. Check out Sandwich on Films, and until next time, stay classy.